Yeah, this is the Nobody Talks Shaduch podcast. Yo, yo, what's good? Head host here, IJ, Avery, and we have some special ladies in the house Avery tonight. Um, in the house. We have Alex and Sophia. Welcome yes. hey. to NTS, hashtag Nobody Talks Shaduch podcast. And uh, we have the most controversial episode for you yet. Can, like, should she know? She must wear heels on the first date. We're talking fashion, clothing, what to wear, what not to wear. Um, there is like, it's it's a never-ending discussion, is it, Avery? It's really hard to find out what to wear before a date. And uh, the judging is so harsh in our community that, uh, yeah, I, we need somebody to give us some answers about what we should and should not wear. And uh, thank you, Alex and Sophia, for coming in. Maybe you want to just tell us. Something about yourselves. Yeah, yeah. they'll tell us soon um, After the break. as we go to a break. Hey, listeners, it's IJ from the Nobody Talks Shadokan Podcast. I want to take a moment to tell you about Greenpoint Podcast Studio. It's where we record. We record there every single episode. It is a beautiful, newly renovated, brand new, right in the heart of Greenpoint in Brooklyn. And it's basically a little bit close to Williamsburg, just a few minutes from Flatbush, Borough Park. If you're in Queens, it's close to there. And hey, if you're in the five towns or New York City, it's just a quick 25 to 35 minute drive away. So you can follow them or get in touch with them by going to greenpointpodcaststudio.com to book your next podcast session. Avery, amazing words of wisdom as, as usual. Come on, stop. So uh, clothing, fashion, you know, what to wear, what not to wear. So what better way to bring two vets in Shidduchim and one in clothing and fashion, Alex and Sophia, they're here. Tell us a little bit about you. Today. Okay, so I'm Sophia, and I'm born in Brooklyn, and I live there, and I run a clothing company. Yay! <laughs> cool. <laughs> um, and my partner in crime, Alex, will introduce herself. Hey, guys. I'm Alex. I am also from New York, and... <laughs> and... Um, yeah, I, I have a lot of opinions, actually, on dressing on dates because I think that people put a lot of effort into it and a lot of thought into it, and sometimes I think that thought is necessary, and sometimes I think it that thought is not necessary mm -hmm. at all. Oh, so okay. I, I like that point on thought because, like, you know, I've been on dates where I'm like, wow, like, did you put any thought into that? Or, like, did I overthink this, you know? Mm -hmm. Because they bring this potato sack. Sometimes they have that potato sack. So they terrible. bring it, and I'm like, what the heck? But there's so much to get to on the talk of fashion and things like that. I mean, what should you wear? What shouldn't you wear? What smarter things to wear? You know, there are things you have to avoid wearing. I'm sure the girls will have plenty to say about that. I think it's going to be guys in a polo for sure. Uh, comfort clothing, you know? comfort. Clo I love wearing, like, a comfy pajama Snuggy. Snuggy. outfit. yeah. That's important on a date. Um, and like we're, you know, when he doesn't let you know, it's like a casual date. So that's big. Casual date, very, ca very fashionable date. Like you can't just show up at Mike's Bistro wearing clogs and a polo. You know, it doesn't work. So well, I always wear polos. Th there are uh, <laughs> girls mm -hmm. wear polo. Actually, can actually Crocs, not clogs. So maybe we should thing. start with the first date. What is the expectation for guys and then girls for what they should be coming dressed in? Depending okay, on so your I personally think that as you get older, it gets more and more relaxed on mm -hmm. what you could wear. And I also think that if you are meeting someone on your own, you kind of feel that out and then you decide what to wear. But if you're using a shotgun, then they tell you, okay, hey, it's a casual date. And then you decide to wear casual or something dressy. Mm -hmm. um, I kind of agree. I think in the beginning when I started to date, I was wearing, I don't actually think I wore heels that often because I feel I looked really, I looked very stupid wearing heels but um i always dress a little bit like more not like fancy but like mm -hmm. casual shoppers ish and then now i rarely i mean i'm usually going out from work so i'm i mean like i'm dressing obviously not like in like a sweatshirt and leggings but it's pretty so casual. as a guy i'll say this like we don't notice at least myself i don't notice when they look really good i only notice the ones that look bad Ooh. that's how it is in life Boy, like I you noticed. just know the ones that look like terrible like oh that one she was <laughs> that's just, for oh, sure that was rough that was what is she wearing like you couldn't even well, she wasn't wearing any makeup or she looked like she just came out of a, a shower like you know something ridiculous so that 
is a problem. I think people have like this lack of self-awareness. No, but I don't agree because I I think that everyone has different styles. So what may be hideous to you, like that girl thought she looked stunning that day and vice versa. I think there's some Mm. guys that think they're coming and they're very best and they're all proud. Mm. And then the girl's like, what? Like, why was he wearing that? So I feel like, I mean, as you could tell, like when a guy shows up and there's no effort, it's actually... For when me, the guy, personally, yeah, it's it, it it's a piss off. But don't you respect it is that? A piss off. Yeah. Well, 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 let me it. ask you. No, I don't. Let me ask you, Sophia. No. What I would recently be, uh, went okay. on a date, and what a guy, would be the tick off? Yeah. What would be the tick off? What would be the tick off? I recently went on a date, and basically the date um, came in jeans and a t shirt, and I was wearing a dress and a lot of makeup, and Ooh. my hair was curled, and I was like all dressed to like go out somewhere nice, and like it looked like he rolled out of bed. <laughs> post work like you know like mm. you that hour to chill but you're going on a date was this a quarantine date no, I'm it, just was asking, right be- it was like right after perm so it was like okay you know so it was a supposed to be quarantine date supposed to be quarantine hmm. uh, <laughs> right no but like what if what if you actually did find out that he worked very hard to get that look because i i like i tr- i wake up in the morning i i try to get like a messy look going you know the hair nature the natural head. you know yeah Yes. Yeah. So, so what if you found that out? Like, would that change anything? Um, honestly, for me, I like to think that I date very open-mindedly. And when I'm going out with someone, I'm not necessarily like, yeah, obviously I don't want him to look like a schlump, but I'm not focusing so much on what he's wearing as much as who he is. And I know that sounds very like cliche and butterflies and rainbows to say, but it's true. And I think that's the only mm. way to date. You can't, if you're going to go out like looking for the first thing that's going to be wrong with him and it's very easy to, I mean, clothes is the first thing that you see besides for his face. So it's very easy to like pick mm-hmm. on things. And, and like, the car. Oh. <laughs> but like, okay, I mean like, listen. <laughs> and every, his shoes. <laughs> everyone I has never their things. Cars. I don't know. My dad always asked me, so what car was that boy driving? I'm like, well, mm-hmm. Toyota Camry? Mm-hmm. I don't know. Yeah, I mean like I, I, I could, I notice like what car he's driving, but I don't like put any thought into it. I mean, I think right. everyone has their different focus. But on, I, focuses, because I'm but in fashion, I notice what the guy wears. And the it car, bothers yeah. me if they mm-hmm. look like a, like a schlump. I don't know. I, I mean, like, I think that I you, care. Yeah. I, yeah. I you see, for myself, Sophia, <laughs> I care. For myself, I don't have any sisters, so I know that going into a date, my mom will come back asking, like, "Oh, what was she wearing? How, how would she, you know, dress up?" And I'm like, "Probably clothing." You know, I don't. Yeah. I, Probably I can't even clothing. Tell. I, mean, I, I think I can't notice? tell. No, I've had no idea. I just noticed the bad ones. So she's always like, "Oh, that one's bad." But, but like, that's what, a, what would be like, considered a bad. Like obviously a potato sack, but like that no girl. In terms of like, they wear brown. <laughs> yeah, you get really. Well, so I'll tell you, like for me, for me, I like to see placeability. When I'm, what I what mean by that place, mean? that's a good yeah, question. Yeah, I don't know what that even. That's means, a great like, question. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you what, what it means. Placeability. I need someone like the outfit is just placed on them and it fits and it works. So well Me- fitted. Meaning mm. no meaning, like if you're like a hot honey, come looking like hot honey. If you're like, you know, an average Joette, like at the gym and you're like, you're into gym <laughs> clothing, come in a gym. I want, I'm just saying like, I notice when some, a girl on the date, when we go out and like, they're not used to makeup, they're not used to looking fancy. I notice that. I think most guys do. So I just, I, I think the worst thing you can do is just not show up, like just show up looking like who you normally not. So if, you know, if a guy's used to wearing like white shirt, black pants, great. If you're not, don't, don't wear it. It's not going to pull off. It's not going to help you. And that's something that us guys for sure always have in their mind. Okay. So you're saying that when it comes to dates, you shouldn't fake who you are. What, what if you're, what if you're just talking about dressing in general? Like well, you're going out to the public, everyone's judging you on what you're wearing. Like, do you agree? Um, me and Sophia were discussing this last night that, I'm of the opinion that you should dress the way you want to be perceived. And I don't think that it's faking. I don't think it's fake to dress. Let's say either if you want to be perceived as firmer, I don't think it's fake to dress firmer than you are because everyone's judging you on how you look. So she's basically bringing this up because last mm-hmm. night we were, we were pre going over what we were going to, you know, discuss oh, they or whatever. Planned this. They planned and this. I said that That's usually good. on a first date, Sophia. I'll wear stockings because I think that it's like, modest and i think that it's like it looks like i cared and i thought about it so basically i wear stockings on a first date but in general i do not wear stockings what's do i what, what i bite with stockings are like are like those new tights, tights. Okay, yeah okay. They're, Stock- they're see-through it's not what santa no puts idea. in here i know stocks colon stockings pantyhose tights I don't yeah know. so okay so pantyhose no stockings whatever i'm gonna call i call it new tights but i wasn't gonna say that but we can call it oh it. new tights. okay got it. all right yeah so and i don't Cut wear those out. 
<laughs> I don't wear those in general, so I'm not going to wear it on the date. And I but also, I do on a first date, right? And mm-hmm. I don't, and I don't care to show people that I don't wear. Oh, is that is that a thing with um, girls? I. Like if you yes. if you wear it, you're Maybe. from. If you don't wear it, you're not from. No, no, not in that terms. You're a guy. Oh, you're a shake it yeah. off my shidduch list. No, no so, not yeah, in for, terms like yeah, yeah no. just in like a. Uh, no, for me, I think I'm very into, and I want to be perceived as because that's who I am as someone who is genuinely from and from. And for me, I don't see tights. Tights is menagamakom. I don't think it's something that you know shows whether you're from or not. I think covering your knees, mm-hmm. covering your elbows. Mm-hmm covering your collarbone those are the rules of cs i'm sure people could elaborate and people know more about it but i am not going to go into it because i mm-hmm. don't know enough um but either way so so I, it's okay for someone to say this is where i am in life but this is really where i want to be yes and i will dress like that okay so that's an interesting point i didn't really think about before just like you know you do want to end up with the right person yeah. maybe someone who could be growth oriented or whatever yeah. the cell is so yeah. it's good to have that yeah, I mean, like, I know people that they are looking for guys or girls in general who want to be at a certain place also. Now, I know people have been judged on wearing less CS clothing, which is fine. Like, everyone's entitled to do whatever they want. I'm not judging, and I'm not, you know, God, so I'm not I'm there. judging. I'm always judging. Everyone should know. Sophia's a judger. <laughs> so. Sophia's a judger. <laughs> <laughs> Ruth Bader Ginsburg over here. RBG! Right. <laughs> um, but, yeah, I mean, I think that if you want... if you have the same kind of goals in mind and you want to be at the same place, then it's okay to go a little bit further than maybe you are right now. Mm-hmm. I don't think that's lying to anyone. Well, here's, a, like here's an interesting like point that. that the yeshivish people, I think, have it much easier. All they can wear is white shirt, something Black super pace, covering everything. Skirt. They don't even have to worry about I what they look like. I wish I wore a white shirt. It's like, insane. I, I miss the uniform where I could just get up like and put on a different yeah. uniform. I mean, the same uniform every single day. Like right. Now, before I go From to work. From Base Yaakov? Yes. 100%. Oh, nice. I, yeah, like, I, I used to wear a uniform, but the problem was he didn't put in the laundry. It was the same thing. <laughs> there you go. But, um, it turned gray, gray green, yeah. yellow at some point. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, uh-huh. but... um. But uh, everyone, all the teachers always ask you in high school, like, what are you going to wear when Mashiach comes? And everyone always said, like, your uniform, because that's the easiest thing, because it's sneeze and, you know, it's simple. And now you actually kind of think about it, you know, with Corona and all these crazy times, it's something legitimate, I think, mm-hmm. to be like, okay, Mashiach's coming. Like, okay, what, so, what so nice. that covers the first date, how you want to look and how, what you, how you want to present Mashiach. yourself. So let's think, yeah, Mashiach too, that's like a date, though. But <laughs> let's think that about... That will be a date. That'll be the best date I've ever had in my life. As the dates go further on, you go to action dates, you go out to, like, golf or something hiking like that and you want to dress comfortably you want to dress like your you yeah. know sneakers like i'm dressed right now like i yeah. dress comfortably action day every not day. casual yeah. like action ladies day. ij and they avery t- are dressed to the nines Stop. thank <laughs> you oh my God. you two can I come did back just get out of bed 20 minutes ago anytime but i worked on that attic bed look, i had to coordinate a backyard <clears throat> menu this morning i mean like what the heck 6 a.m put that on your resume i don't get yeah, up me before too. 10 me too guys have a night usually, by the way also tell us that it's a casual date yeah no, 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 no. no. I very much casual. disagree with that. Well, that's accurate. what we're changing. We like, disagree with no, that. No, we're taking that. Yeah. Tr- we're taking I'm that. Always casual. So. We're taking that term away from the shotgun because, like, you know, they're so old school. These shotgun, I'm like, they're like, yeah, can't you with Danny? I'm like, right. no, no, no. There's no. There are other. There are other jargons we need to use. Is it an action date? Is it a silly date? Oh, like Is that. it a okay. painting mm-hmm. date? Like, let's get into the going real to a like, what are you here. So I'm always casual. I'm always in flats. Like I said, I go from work, so I don't think about it. But oh, I hate mm. when the guy texts me like, "Dress, dress casual. like this." Like, oh, yeah. really? oh, sorry, I was just in the middle of getting my makeup done. Hold on, let me cancel the appointment. Like, <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> okay, so I've gone on all different oh, types. I've gone on casual. I've gone on dressy. But days. do they tell you what to wear? Like, uh, they don't tell me what to wear. I'll never the tell a girl will what tell to wear. Tell me like, hey, yeah. it's, it's casual. Oh, you're going for dinner. Like, um, when I was. Like 20 and 22, I used to wear heels on a first date. I don't anymore. One of my uh, in what, middle of the yeah, when you're younger, because that seems out of place, Sophia. Like, isn't that seem out of place? Like, you know, you're like 19, right? You got the life jacket on from well, from 19, being off the like, boat, from like, the boat, like, and you got these dating. like six inch heels on, and you're wearing like you know. One time I was the walking Shabbos in the robe. park and I took them off. <laughs> I wore heels once because the guy was six three, and I am not oh, that, yeah. <laughs> even mm. close. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, was I hear like, that, but it was so awkward because we went to Coffee Bean. So I'm walking like a freak uh, into Coffee Bean with six inch heels. Like no, all the ladies what a jerk. To this uh, wedges are a move. That's all if I, I dislike her, I'm going to take her walking. I'm going to take a walking while she's wearing heels. Yeah, it's a walking because at least you get something back. Like, at yeah. least you like, okay, you know what? I, I got an extra it. thousand steps my on steps. Fitbit. Yeah. Okay, that's good. So it wasn't a waste that's of time. That's for people that exercise. What about the rest of us that don't? Who don't exercise. Yeah. Um, yeah. Well, then I would just like take him to a like a kosher Mickey D's. 
Netflix marathon. You know, like you just <laughs> figure out, you go to like, McDonald's. you go to like Carlos and Gabby's like, or what? the canteen or like some like, oh, chimchiri, you know, like mm. just a place where you can just go stuff your face. What about this? So now with quarantine, you know, a lot of people are dating on Zoom, FaceTime, whatever. We're not talking about the concept of whether you assume you guys have covered that already. Yeah. But what do you think about dressing like clothes wise? I know I feel personally that it mm. is probably going to be more casual, right? Because yeah, yeah. I mean, like even if you're already dressing casually for a date, like it's different when you're sitting at a computer on your phone, like you're not going to be doing this whole outfit. You're like, not dressing to the yeah, hills. Exactly. Okay, yeah. I did yeah. one Zoom date during this <laughs> yeah. quarantine and I Ooh, wore pajama it? pants and like a top. Oh, totally. All. Yeah. Ooh. That's the dream. Yeah. That's what I did. No, that's what I did. I had a Zoom date too. I had a few. And like I was How just you, wow! I was, I was wearing short. I had to throw, High in demand. I had, to, <laughs> I had to throw that few in. You like you know what I'm saying, ladies? Was up eight six six N T S I J cell phone number. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> okay, yeah. So like I was, I was, I was pretty casual. I don't know. They're like no expectations now. You know, it's true. So whatever. Be, be, yeah. be you. I mean, mm -hmm. there are no rules during quarantine. It really isn't, you know, so just go for that. Yeah, the idea is if you're on CNN, if you watch CNN, you watch Fox News, they're dressed up. I don't up, watch the so news. So I'll dress up. Yeah, but they're, but, but they're pants. Not that I watch like, CNN. You're saying but like even the girls, like the guys and the girls are like yeah, they're they're not wearing, wearing pajama pants, yeah. pants. And one guy got caught. And then okay. like the top is, you know, but that's your facade. Like that's what you're about. You know, what are you holding in there? And this is revolutionary right here. Okay, all you shot Khanim out there. All you mm. people dealing with them. All the people listening to this. Okay, all you girls especially. Say, mm -hmm. no, no, what kind of date is it? Is it a casual date? Which means like we're doing something casual or is it like an action date? So that's up to the guy. Is no, it the guy's the one date. planning the date usually. So it's up to the guy. So to the say guy it. or the girl, whoever wants to say it. Like, or is this like, we're like, we're looking very good. Like we're, we're looking very spiffy. No, you should always spitzy. look good because even for yourself, like well, you're very just high end. You're just going all, you're going all out. Like this is, we're going, we're going to, yes, reserve cut. That's exactly what it, I haven't R been there in like three years. R and you never will. Oh, oh wait, no, they're gone? No, I don't gone? think it's close for good. Yeah, no, their lease is up, so they're done. No way. Oh, they're done? I, I have a gift certificate yeah. oh, there. Wow. Oh. Sucks. Wow. <laughs> oh my gosh. Didn't you give that to Avery before we started the podcast? Shh. We don't reveal our secrets. Yeah. Oh, okay. So, well, let's see. Yeah, okay. moving on. I just have one big issue I wanted to address, and this is something that, that Shad Khanim bring up and many people bring up is the quote-unquote, for guys and girls, is the Flatbush look. Nobody wants to be told oh, actually, that they what? look like whoa, 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 they're whoa, whoa, from what, Flatbush. Flat well, actually, I don't mind that. This is I, something that comes up. I've gotten this. He's got the glasses. Oh, he's yeah. got the tight pants. Oh, yeah. He's got a Those little, Jewish, the Jewish he's a little singer, uh, fake the Jew going on yeah, over it's there. It's the Jewish know, singer glasses. The girls. Uh, the Ju Jewish glasses. Jewish, si Jewish singer glasses. I'm not going to mention names of certain people that are coming And then to my it's head, like, but, you know, uh, it's like. Name rhymes with Schmaldinger, you know. <laughs> and then it's like. Anyhow. It's the pants like you're going, you're going to the gym, but you could also wear those like, you know. Right. To the park. There is some, there is it's a It's a very specific Jewish And look. if you yes, see somebody that. that looks like that, what will you say? It's true. Like, I, I, God, I, I never got like, no idea what you're singer. talking about. I have. I also don't date that many Flappish guys. Right. Um, But honestly, I don't, I don't like it. I don't really notice what people are wearing if i i mean i would hope people's pants fit them mm -hmm. glasses if you need glasses I wear notice. them if not don't wear them right um really just dress whatever like however you're comfortable and i'm not saying to wear pajama pants cuz that's what you're comfortable with on a date cuz obviously come on it's a date you want to you know, see if this person is is eligible i guess for or like potentially your spouse so you're not going to just come lazy and undressed but mm -hmm. um and in terms of makeup, like don't overdo it. Don't no. If you know what, not everyone is blessed to have good skin. If you need to overdo it, good for you. Like do what you're comfortable with. I don't. Yeah, I don't yeah. agree that. I understand that guys say that they like girls with less makeup. They don't know how much makeup goes into I don't. no makeup. I, yeah. I feel like there are guys I, out there who are going to try figuring it. Like yeah, guys I, are like, oh, wear no best. makeup. Like if you see a model <laughs> wearing no makeup on a cover of a magazine, I promise you, she is wearing more yeah. makeup than the average. I girl know on that. I day. call that out. And she's yeah. digitally enhanced. That. I yes. smack that. I, I'm always digitally enhanced. All right. I'm always <laughs> smacking these people around. I'm always smacking around. Thank like, you. I smack guys around. I'm like, you're a liar. Okay? You're full of it. You just want someone who's pretty. Yeah. That looks good Look, without makeup. I think that everybody finds everyone understands. Either. I think in 2020, yeah, and probably the benefit of honestly having social media, you know, is that everyone understands, like, you have a type. Okay? That person... You know, I don't like kind of referencing people as pretty or hot or or he's cute. Like everyone has their type. Everyone's attracted yeah. to a certain look. 
Okay. So there are certain looks that work for you. There are certain looks that not work for you. But okay. at the end, I'm telling you guys right now, mm -hmm. and many of you listening, you know, email me. I will hmm. tell you that, you know, they're wearing makeup. That's how they look. If it looks like they're not hidden, whatever. But at the end of the day, girls wear makeup and guys should probably put some gel in their hair, you know? Guys should probably nice wear makeup too. Guess what? Like, maybe. I, I, I would. Yeah. A little, ooh, yeah. wipe, you know? A no, I'm saying I hate when guys wear makeup. I no, I hate when guys are not. No, they shouldn't. No, but they I hate when guys are like, oh, I should take a girl on a first date to a pool and see what she looks like without makeup. Like, um, no, you should be so lucky, please. Whoa. If he gets, Whoa. If he, Whoa. If he gets Someone to the hates pool. the makeup. Are you a makeup artist? Let me ask I you. I happen to love makeup. I'm not a makeup artist. Alex is the biggest <laughs> Sephora binger. Yeah, Ooh, I, I do love makeup. I don't, I don't necessarily wear a lot of it, but I do happen to like makeup. But... I think that makeup should enhance. Well, I, I Alex, think I think there is something about guys that are, they're just scared of like the too much of people who are too much into this type of, into like the makeup artist that kind of like scares them away. That's like, wow, they're just so into their look. And what am I going to be? Most of them are single, them? right? Most of them are single. You guys realize this that podcast is, really, is all about like really dressing and how people look. So you can't yeah. say that people are, you're nervous about how to, how people look, but then like literally dedicate a whole episode <laughs> to how people look. Well, yeah, we're maybe you should about why maybe people, you, you know, how they look. So there yeah, are maybe different reasons no, why listen. they look like that, why they, No, this, know, this is a good topic. I think that people, um, should everyone's judged on how they look so you we should talk about it but mm -hmm. i don't think we i think we should kind of figure out how to make the focus less on the specifics of what someone's wearing or how they're wearing their makeup or right. what kind of pants a guy's wearing and more of <laughs> it's more <laughs> style what if he comes in cargo? Style hey cargo hey cargos it's 2020 no. cargos are out they're out not acceptable. Short cargos are not okay. acceptable. Hello, we got the fashion. Yeah. Um, how Honestly, about, let me ask something. Okay, but what yes, about in a TV show? A guy who's like in a polo with like with with shorts, like beige shorts. That's so cute. Yeah, on a TV show. That's true. I know. Yeah. On, a, on a Hallmark <laughs> original. Oh, I love that. Stuff. No, Outer Banks. Outer Banks. Uh, so let me ask you: Can a guy come to a date in jeans? And like, can the girl show up in pigtails? Go. Uh, yes, pigtails. Um, I like no, pigtails. I think no, it's like a silly circumstance. I don't even know oh what my pigtails god, what is this? Pippi Longstocking? Yeah, <laughs> Pippi. No, um, in terms of jeans, no. I think strange. I think juvenile. that's it is not. It's not Jewish. Ooh. It's not a Jewish <laughs> thing to do. Jewish Wait, so you not? don't think I it's care. good? No, no. Yeah, pigtails it's is unacceptable. It's, it's, it's a little bit unless immature. you're taking me to like a uh, uh, hoedown. No, I'd rather have cornrows. So any girl listening, like we have, I'm sure we have. Don't wear pigtails on a date, please. None. From Alex, no pigtails. What if it's Purim? Uh, it's a Purim date. Who's going on a date on Purim? We have. You with your family. Didn't we convince people a few episodes ago to That go wasn't dates? a girl. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, no. I thought, spend, I thought there was something, with, there your was something with that guy. <laughs> no, but um, in terms of jeans, that's a personal preference, I think, to people. There's, I, I mean, I know like yeah, some girls- Yeah, it's girl, also a hashkafic thing. Like, what, is, you're holding. what does jeans mean? I'm curious Yeah, hear. I don't know, honestly. I think, I think uh, I'm going to be honest, like- and yes, you could think it's a flappishy uh, point of view, That's but fine. I think jeans Flappish. is a more, I'm going to hate Rugged, it's right? a rugged thing. Say, rugged, more Modox thing. Yeah. Well, Modox. Okay, okay uh, I personally, I, I don't, I think when I- It doesn't I, bother me. Right. I just want to say that. No, I think when I initially came back from seminary, it was like, oh, like don't wear denim skirts, don't date guys with jeans. Like, And mm. for no reason, they didn't kind of explain it to you. It was just more of something you did. But then, you know, as I got older and I was like, what? Well, like- so, not, so it's like not fair. It's like dating a nonconformist. So you either like that or you don't. You right. Know, so just, I, I personally don't necessarily love <laughs> the look it. of jeans, but it's not hashkafa reasons. I just would rather black pants or even like dark navy pants. Oh, you even black, black, black jeans. Don't want to date with me. I you hear just that. have to be dressed. But yeah, yeah. I I personally, jeans. Pants, like I don't like the look of care. like baggy jeans. Like I don't know. Yeah, so I would tell the guys out there, right? I mean, I would keep it very, very simple in the beginning. Don't kind of don't stick out too much. You want to get like a, a just a, a look that kind of goes with the flow. So black, dark clothing, things like that. Right. But of course, like at a certain point, like if you have those like crazy, you know, nineteen seventies bells pants in your closet that you love wearing mm -hmm. three times a month, like you know, you should you got to bring them out of the closet. You got to be like, you know, girlfriend. Yo, what's up? This is me. You know, this is what I have in the back of my closet. So always try to do yeah, that. But that's, that's when fine. you're more comfortable at it. Your Ooh, yeah. Series. So comfort is big. Mm -hmm. So so comfort counts. Yeah, comfort. But counts. like, when is the right time? Like, is is five dates good, or is like you got to wait till like you know engagement time? 
Yeah. Oh God! No, don't don't like bring it all out. Like one bring it all out there. Bring That's where it went wrong. After four or five dates, yeah, bring out whatever you have got, whatever you got. Well, you uh, wanna- I think you should try to be comfortable in the beginning, but I don't know. I think all of the stuff like it depends on where you're at and what. I mean, like I had a guy last year, maybe or even he came. All of a sudden, I opened the door because I don't believe in my parents meeting the boy in the beginning because mm-hmm. I don't find a use for it. Um, that's personal for me, obviously not for everyone. But yeah, not for Sophia. Not for Sophia. But either way, I sometimes open, you only I, want to meet the parents. <laughs> but I, it's true. It's true, but I'm funny. better with the parents than I am with the girls. I'll be honest. Anyhow, you were saying. Uh, no, so oh. I open the door and the guy is there with a suit and a hat and a tie, and I just stared at him and I'm like, "Are you in the wrong house?" Oh. <laughs> like, I no wow. personally, I, I find myself very. I'm a very. Was a collector. Out with you. I was a collector. <laughs> Yeah, Whoops. this guy. You realize? Oh, yeah. Sorry, wrong house. oh that's stored. terrible. Whenever I'm in certain areas, oh my god, it's like as I'm approaching the I door. Had that yeah. once. There was a collector. collector out comes, there. Comes, there. Oh my god! With oh the girl, god. I said to somebody once, I had a date, Brooklyn. Well, and then girl. I'm like, collectors and then I'm like, out there. I'm, I told the mother, and I see the collector. I'm like, don't worry, I'm I'm better than that guy. <laughs> and then I'm like, I'm, I'm, I'm just I'm like I'm bombastic. I'm I'm screaming at this guy. I'm cursing him out. I'm like cursing, you know, on a date. And then like and then the girl opens the door. Right before you pick them up, and then I grab him, and I'm like, oh, it was my, we just met. We're great friends now. All right, yeah. sign, you know, scoot along. Yeah. Yeah. But no, what I'm that's saying that's in general, but you like do you give him just... money so that it looks appears oh, as if you're very yeah. generous yeah, yeah, in front yeah, of yeah. her. You know, you yeah. give her some change. Well, well, well. What I do is the second her father opens the door, you know, I give him one, and then the second one I count. Okay, 78, 79. All right, 80. Oh, thank you very much. And sign our. Anyway, I like to go. Anyway, <laughs> basically all I'm trying to say is that like you have to kind of know your audience when you're yeah. going out. And like, mm-hmm. like, I mean, I happen to be, uh, I, I think I'm a relatively from person, but it doesn't mean that, you know, I want to go out with someone who's necessarily coming on a first day in a black hat. Now, do I, that doesn't mean that I don't want someone who wears a black hat. I don't know. That's not something I necessarily focus on. But you to, do. I mean, right. No, no. I mean, like I've dated guys who will wear black hats. I've dated guys who won't. I mean, I, I'm not. But like, genuinely your family does. So you, you want one. Uh, yeah, I, I I don't know we should do a black yeah. hat episode. Yeah, it's not it's not a make or a break it. Yeah, but right. It's so ultimately know your hat. clientele, know who you're going Basically, out yeah. with. Know your clientele. Know that's how. Then with, dress like, according to that. Yeah. I know that girls are often asked for pictures along with their resumes when being read a shidduch. Uh, what do you guys think about guys being asked back for pictures? And if you agree with it, or whether or not you agree with it, what do you think about um? What guys should be wearing in these pictures? What's I your, love what's your it. Opinion? I love when it, when the when the shock is like, oh, like I need more pictures. I'm like, that's awesome. Like that means this girl wants to get an idea of like what I'm like, who I am, what I wear. There's a lot you can tell from another person. I mm. never ask. I like looking look through pictures. I mean, what if that they don't works have too. <laughs> but oh, I also look up LinkedIn. I recently went on a like, yeah, yeah, LinkedIn's right. great. Yeah. Also, LinkedIn. yes, oh. I'm all over LinkedIn. I look great on LinkedIn. Yeah. I, you know, <laughs> I, I work in the White House on LinkedIn, and yes. yeah, you know, everything You're successful on LinkedIn. Yeah. Like, yeah, very successful on LinkedIn. But uh, yeah, it it's so it, it actually impresses me when I get that response because I have not often, two or three times. When that, like, then that shot hen's like, oh, she wants a few more pictures, you know? Mm -hmm. I I get a little bit annoyed, you know, when it turns out it's the mother. Okay, fine. I like to sell my dimples. Anyway. Yeah, I I think think that if you're going to ask for a picture from a girl, you have to expect to give one out too. So there's no reason not to. Don't have a double standard. Thank you. You know, if you're, there's absolutely (laughs) no good reason not to. And find a good picture. Don't send like a stupid picture. Don't make her look up your Facebook. Don't. But at the same time, you understand <laughs> where people are coming say, from. If they don't want to ask, they would send. Oh, he would and never he would send that guy. And he would never enough. send a picture because he didn't want to. And they yeah. didn't send. He wouldn't ask. He wasn't specific about, you know, what they needed to look like or if they had to fit in a certain bubble. They just have to understand that it's um, a very valid methodology. Not to say anything against That's his wife, but he wasn't, you know, not, <laughs> no, it doesn't mean anything. <laughs> but... She's great and she looks terrific, uh, but he, he what just she wouldn't like, no, I don't know what <laughs> No, that's not what that means. But it could be implied. This is a true story, by the way. This is not a joke. <laughs> this is real. Um, I was the best man. <clears throat> yeah, he was the best man. Is that how you guys we met? did a really. That's how we met right there. No, poor we knew, job. We, yeah, we, we knew each other before then. Oh, okay. Yeah, but in, in terms of resume picture, though, now nowadays something that happens often that really bothers me is people send pictures with other people in the picture. So they, so without what do you, their permission. What do you think about like? Um, I don't know why they're doing that. I don't yeah, know what so you. Why I don't know why I need to see your 
great niece or your sister or something. Oh, I don't, well, that depends. Please. I mean, I know that like, like a I, I've, thing. I've sent out pictures of <sighs> myself, just, mm. just me standing there smiling. But there's yeah. other times where like, I also look on a picture of me at my sister's wedding. So it's a picture with my sister and I mm. trust me, no one's assuming that I'm the bride in the picture because like she's the one <laughs> right. in white. I hate that response. I yeah. always get a, okay. oh, is she the one? Yeah. But like, I mean, I, so I, I think that I, I have seen girls send pictures with other girls and it's either because they think they look good and they don't want to crop someone out or maybe they think mm -hmm. they look better than the person in the picture, which that helps. is so yeah. mean. But that very good point. Yeah. 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 Oh, but I um, should start doing that. Oh, that's, that's why I hang out with IJ. No, but that's what you do. You, no, but that's actually <laughs> the, that's the game plan. Yeah, you put someone like who just looks like less way more grotesque, mm -hmm. less attractive, anything, you know, just make yourself look better. You got to prop yeah, yourself. Yeah, put like, like Chewbacca or, in the picture. Like Photoshop. Like <laughs> <laughs> well, I love Chewbacca. Actually, oh, I would go on a little bit. You sent me a picture. About kids or yeah, but that's more of a guy thing. Chewbacca. <laughs> we have a date, baby. We have, a, we have date. a date. But either way, what about, what do you think about guys sending pictures? I know that you said you don't like when mm -hmm. girls send pictures with other people, whatever other things. But what do you think about guys? Like when they, they're sending a picture of them with like a niece or a nephew or someone who's clearly not anywhere near their range of also in Shadokim, like, do you think guys have a purpose of sending, let's say, a picture of them with their niece or their nephew or, like, with a baby, like, to make them mm. look better? Uh, Isn't it adorable? Uh, it's no, so adorable. it's a little creepy. We had, uh, we had, uh, Imagine if I sent a picture with my dog. Thing. There should be a it's disclaimer, the by the way, also on resumes if they have a dog or not. <laughs> I mean, I think, the house is that a deal breaker for you? Well, it's not a deal breaker. I don't, like, look. But I did come to a house and almost got killed by a, uh, an animal like you have to know that That's you look, your job they is to put a sibling you know your job is a, a, stigma. A, lot of, a lot of people like wouldn't admit that they have a dog I think at the end of the day like just look good bring your a game show some respect and if you have your grandmother in the picture or your dog or your cat Actually, i don't yeah, think it's a problem now with that My said grandmother. there are shot hunnam yeah. who will respond to you like oh this is ridiculous and you're a stupid moron because uh you have a picture of you and your cat or something and, you and i can about getting a new shot. and you know who i'm talking yeah. about yeah honestly if you're saying i hate like i've done that like i've sent like two pictures to Shahan, Shahan, and they're send like the better one. They're send like, the better one. another one and i'm like <laughs> Woman, uh, if I think I look girl, good, that's please. enough. Yeah, girl, like, that's please. enough for me. Like, if I think I look good, you're gonna good take and her I'm, on Jerry Springer. Yeah, yeah like, no, I'm, seriously. I'm clearly yeah. sending that's, a picture that I think I look good in. Like, if you don't think I look good, that's not my problem. Like, yeah. if the guy doesn't yeah. like me, and if or the guy's gonna say no based on my picture, that's totally fine because I'm sure I I have the same opportunity to judge someone based on their. Now, looks, here's a maybe, question. So I don't know. Is there ever rejection <laughs> based on style within the picture or just? I don't no. think the style have you ever picture, rejected somebody for that? People for sure reject people based off their picture. hundred percent. No, people do, but I don't yeah, think, I I don't can't, think I'm definitely guilty of that. No, I'm saying, I, can't I don't think it's, it's, so it's, no, I'm saying, I don't think it's, it's personal fact. though. Like, I mean, I personally don't necessarily reject someone based on that because I think a lot of people look better in person, but I don't think it's personal. Like, let's say like for me, I, me, Alex, I'm blonde. So not mm -hmm. every guy likes blondes and that's okay. And I not, everyone is entitled to their own personal look. Beauty's in the eyes of the beholder. The person that I marry is going to, love my look so what do i care if one person said no that just makes it better for me mm -hmm. that it's one less person i have to date amen i don't think girls should be so you know obsessed about like well why doesn't this one find me or like like or guys. i promise you or guys right. or guys well, well you know what i say it entitled to their preference i say yeah. it with less delivery because like guys it's like you know they don't they don't work as hard for the looks i know that they I know they should. <laughs> they should. Right. You know what? It, but it's tough because like it's just the genetics. You but, know, it's a sad fact out there. No, there's such a thing as grooming like, I'm sorry, and hygiene bro. and stuff. That, that's that's for sure. That's for sure. I but, mean, not drink Sphero. That's 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 you know, it's just a right. recipe for disaster. See, right. so yes. Alex, I, Tafia, I find it really hard to keep up my beard. I, I would ask <laughs> you. Oh yes. I would <laughs> ask you that that a question about like sometimes a picture can really determine something important, like levels of sneers, or if you find a picture of them from their old. Facebook days when they were in, you know, one of the uh, ABC schools and, you know, they were hanging out with their yeah. sleeves so, up, to their, up to their, to the I don't agree yeah, with that you know. though. Like I had a guy, right. how about the pay? Yeah. Yeah. That's good. No, how do we judge I, that? I had a guy who, who went through my uh, Facebook posts and it was from like a couple of years ago when I was in school and I was like with all my friends and I'm saying I mm -hmm. really made Facebook specifically for school and I posted like, Oh, the spring courses are up like hashtag FML. And he told the Shadchan like, Oh, she wrote FML, and I was like, "Listen, that guy's a loser." Yeah, that guy's a I loser. literally when the shotgun so told me, oh like, yeah, yeah. When, what when the shotgun told me, I was like, uh, "Okay." Like, Sometimes sorry, they make it clear. Sorry, no. They make it clear, like, "Oh, you know what? That never would have worked." Like, like also, like, God. I was like, first of all, that I didn't put, say the actual words. I said hashtag FML. Second of all, even if 
like what? Like, are you kidding me? You went back from six years ago to look through my Facebook. It's one thing like, mm-hmm. I don't know. I wouldn't judge someone based on, based on their past necessarily, but I definitely do agree with you that if a girl sending out a picture, a current picture that she's not sneeze, that is saying something. Cause that's people choose their pictures. It's one yeah. thing if you're finding a picture, right. but if she's sending out a picture, that's not, that's, sneeze, like that's showing that. Yeah. She's showing yeah okay, some people are just not fine. meant for Shadokim. Just don't do it. Like, what do you, no, even if she's no, going to put that trust out, me, there are people in Shadokim yeah. that, are not so oh, no, like yeah worse than not sneeze we're not gonna go there <laughs> but <laughs> they have lists we'll call it that yeah no, send me your resume way. no yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no but that's fine either way like again everyone's entitled to do what they want but it's definitely right. saying something if you're putting out like a picture. but you know that's a double standard that i don't like and i i just what, had a recent i had a recent situation that part like just like don't be disingenuous so even flipping it around from like if you're you know if you're not if you're just trying to make yourself look more attractive like if you're if you are less sneeze and you're trying to you know put it out there like maybe that oh I'm more you know more from than I am or something like no that. but I don't agree I, like, like I, being no, disingenuous about that no because I don't agree I just said before like if your goal is to be at a certain point like it's mm-hmm. okay to put oh yeah out so I'm are. talking about like different situations just like the right. person like they they want to get that cute from lawyer mm. you know don't know any of those <laughs> but like, this just happened literally like this happened to uh avery and i's compadre or is it padre i don't know compadre you know uh like you know i'm telling this guy you know we're having a con- frank conversation about like going out with girls who are like very into their instagrams and looking very good on instagram yes. posting pictures mm. looking good yeah. you know and then they do a little makeup and hair so the guy's like oh, it's like uh, it's not to me it's you know, you should you shouldn't date girls like that. So I'm like, screw you! I'll date whoever I want to date, and yeah. they're people too. You know. <laughs> anyway, three too. three days later, this putz message. I, like it was random. He messages our friend chat group. Oh, yeah. He has a friend chat group. That's actually how we really met each other. The dummy. And Poor like, chat? he's like, does anyone know so and so? And I'm like, and I you know, private message. I'm like, I'm like, yeah, you remember that girl you described a few days ago? You know, with uh, this 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 and that. Like you never go out with. Yeah, that's her. Oh, well, it's different this time. Yeah, okay. You know, like, I'm like, let's go out to the back. Let's go out to the parking lot. Let's let, let's resolve this as yep. men. And uh, let's just say... Thank God she said no. Yeah, 25 That's, minutes into the date, it was over. What <laughs> I think he had like a... What do you say? Two and a half hour Zoom date? Two and a half hour Zoom date. <laughs> What that's really long. long. She probably wanted 20 minutes. Yeah, and that's he a just, long date. Very so, stupid. Oh, that's okay. So he got what he Yeah, said. how do you yeah. end a Zoom he date decided. like that? Like, how do you end a Zoom date? I know date? this is off topic, but like... You just yeah. said two and a half hours. I a say, long day. oh my God, there's malware. I have to go. <laughs> like, oh, sorry. Uh, Very fine to just at a certain point, yeah. just say, okay, like it was so nice talking to you. We'll, uh, I just we'll feel like, why should I waste somebody else's time? And no, yeah. Like, yeah. That's well, a good point. Yeah. If you know it's not going to go anywhere, we to, like, need a dating you know, buzzer. Out there, there should be. How, that's amazing but when do you know? You waste their time. It's right. Like, so insulting. It's I'd true. rather someone be upfront and say it to my face. And go and tell. Somebody. So we're gonna invent a buzzer yeah. that in the middle of the day you could just eh, buzz. Next. Well, that's not, good not about happening. these Zoom dates with the um, you know, the round the, robin, the, the, the like, yeah, the round robin, round robin stuff. Robin dates, yeah. I don't know like if you speed dating? The, the speed dating, speed stuff. dating. Through Zoom. I have not participated in. I've not participated. I did it once. I was mm. not. I do not like. It. I know every response it from the girls. Me of a like, lo- a oh, there was. There wasn't a good amount of guys. You know? Looks no, like Hollywood guys Square. Guys no, it's not even that. I just I don't think you could get to know someone well in five minutes. Like you, you just get to know their generic, like basic information, which for some people it works yeah. and some people mm-hmm. it's great. But for yeah. some people who are more than their job, where they're from, it, it's it's not that easy. So. Yeah, it's like I want to if I do something like that, I talk talkless. And uh, actually, did I sat in on one of my friends' uh, Zoom? round robin things no don't worry none of you were on it i i just said just just go right into tachlis be like how many kids do you want what do you want to make what where do you want to live Whoa. really you know what it shook up the game and it helped and he's now married <laughs> oh i have a question for you guys oh boy go <laughs> do you guys get insecure if the girls dress better than you <sighs> They're always dressed better. <laughs> the question well, is that. You dress pretty least, well. No, I, I, te- would say. I tell them I that. I, tell yeah, them. I think you dress pretty well. I tell them they're dressed better. Obviously, on the inside, you always think that. This oh. is a na- the nature of guys is that we think that we're better than girls. I'll have to be honest here. <laughs> Sports, podcasting. This is my trophy shit. My trophy shit. Just yeah. generally. Yeah, we just have the brand. This is how there's, co- there's a competitive nature just in general between guys and girls. So we think that, yeah, okay, we're the well, better. Like I, I think it's competitive. It's we're win. literally apples and So you're saying tomatoes. you don't feel insecure? Yeah, apple and tomatoes. I do not feel insecure. I no, never feel. I know. I feel insecure no. when their like, like style does not 
stand up to par where, where I want it to be my par. No, I'm no. not worried about it. So, ha- has there ever been a time where you've been on a date and you've been like embarrassed yes, like, to be walking yes, next to yes. the girl? Absolutely. Been, absolutely. And yeah. what was the girl wearing when you were embarrassed? I have to think. I mean, I know like she had few. ice cream all over her. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah. no, no, I had, that, that so I was actually uh-huh. very embarrassed. This is true story. Like I went out, picked the girl up. I get to the house, you know, comes out base Yaakov outfit. Okay, great. You know, no problem. What's a base Yaakov outfit? Um, how do you, what do you like? Like a long skirt? Yeah, long skirt, you know, <laughs> no, like no, you know, long skirt, no figure. Uh, very like puffy what shirt. What if she had no figure and she was trying to hide that? Was she wearing like a garbage bag? Don't, what is she? Basically I, like I a garbage no bag. Figure. What if she so was a it ghost? was okay. It was okay. I'm so okay? not into Because I don't, you know, that pictures. next date, like once she got to know me and be like, oh, I see. Yeah, oh, oh, so you oh. gave her another date. That's nice. Yeah, I know. I gave her another date because, like, we did have a good, you know, she's like, wow, you know, like, now that she, in her mind, she's like, oh, now that, you know, I see this guy, he's like, just a take good a moment guy. for the fact that he gave her a second date, which means you're not a loser, which means you give people a chance. Yeah. It's not all based on luck. Claps, mm. snaps for IJ. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. You too. Sit down over there. Sit. So, uh, so then, okay, so that next day, what happens, right? Pick her up, same house, Don't same place, same house. Same house, same place. The nerve. She comes out, yellow, top, purple, bottom. Wow. And Whoa. I call her out. Bold. How do you, like, how do you remember that? Oh, yeah. That's what I said. I'm like, bold colors. Stealth move. What were you wearing? Uh, You know, like, and uh, I'm Wait, like, no, what were you wearing? She's like, yeah, well, you know, she's chewing gum. And she's like, you know, I like, I, I, just, I have to dress like that the first time because I, you know, so This girl I just seems know. crazy. Like, you don't I chew gum on crazy. a date. But she's married now with two kids. It ha- it does happen. Wait, um, can I ask you a question though? Yeah. What were you wearing on the date that she was wearing? What was Ari wearing? I wear the usual. Like I wear this. No, I'm kidding. Where do I wear? I wear like a button down. You know, the white, audience doesn't know this. White, this sweatshirt. I wear a button down. Go Yankees. White shirt yeah. or blue. Usually white or blue. <gasps> wow, the selection. And black pants. You know, and he comes in with a fat cigar. <laughs> Shut. <laughs> they'll know who I am. Bother you Come if the girl wore like black on every single date. Uh, so um, I like colors. I mm-hmm. mean, look, it all depends on the person, right? Like you have a boring CPA. Yeah, no offense. Like I worked in accounting, but like that guy's going to be okay with like someone who's just like, you know, black, black, black. No, but, I think uh, that's just, you know, too, that's too stereotypical. There's Sorry. other people. I know we're, we're stereotyping here. Look, it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> Sorry, we're stere- not, you know, not going to you know, Guys here. rule, girls okay. drool. You know, it's stereotyping. <laughs> At the end of the day, Basically, there's differences. if you have with- a boring job, you like boring people. That's what you're trying to say. <laughs> I know. That's what I'm pushing. No, I'm just trying to depict like just a scenario. Um, it's okay. Like personally me, I like to see creativity. I like to see style. I'm a creative person. I'm a stylish mm-hmm. person. I like trends. So when I see someone who's actually like, you know, dressing fancy, dressing sticky, like dressing, you know, differently, I say, oh, so hey, it doesn't that's make someone you insecure. I, I, I get attracted by. In you short, to answer the question, in bo- short, it doesn't, bother it doesn't make you insecure. No way. Not insecure. It doesn't bother you, Avery. No, I mean, I want—I don't want them to be too you dressed do, up. You don't want does. the whole world staring at her. Why would I want that? You know, you get jealous uh, boyfriend syndrome. <laughs> what, who needs that? So I, it's definitely not something uh, I'm interested in. Jealous boyfriend syndrome. Yeah, I have that. Or you see them with the trophy wife, and then people I think have you're the vain. Jealous girlfriend syndrome. Right, people think you're vain. Somebody. Okay, so now for the girls to answer. Dressed up person. Tell us. Tell us. Secure, Let's um, be honest. Yes. Before Let's we be hit our closing. Here. Give yeah. us your. Okay. Uh, Honestly, no. I'd be, on so I, I'd be super attracted if they dress better than me. That's mm. yes. Well, that's for sure. I mean, All right. but like no. if he's coming like disgruntled, nasty. Well, that's hygiene. Stare. That's not style. I, no, that's different. Say, I would like, say no to a second. You know, date. clothing. If you bed, couldn't put an clogs, effort to go on our know. date, you're not for me. Justin Justin exactly. Bieber outlawed Crocs. He comes in Crocs. I wear Crocs it's all done. the time. JB said no, so it's out. It's a good thing I don't like JP. Um, <laughs> Team Selena, Team Selena, <laughs> no, no, Team Selena. Uh, I hate, well, actually, here. actually, you know, I don't like Selena also because she like hates Israel. So okay, whatever. Yeah. You know what? It is what it is. Team Demi Lovato. Okay, um. let's. Um, we're actually going to go <laughs> to our closing, our clothing, our clo- Cl- closing, <laughs> closing, our closing. <laughs> Give me a second, though. So yeah, we're going to go to our closing um, about what to wear, what to dress, you know, everything fashion on this episode. Um, and I would like our guests to lead us off. Avery. That I'm not a guest. <laughs> oh, really? I didn't realize. Is, You're is, totally, you are totally I think I, a guest. IJ, well, I am a guest in the sense that, you know, IJ might be fired. To, <laughs> <laughs> don't we'll get, we'll don't get reveal to anything. I'm not going to put his contract on the air, but I think a guy can dress 
pretty much however he feels comfortable for the most part. Meaning if he's on a first date, dress how you feel nice. You feel nice wearing a suit jacket and tie and you want to be all, you know, from and look, give off that appearance. Yeah, do it. Nobody cares. You want to just wear a white shirt, have your top button open, show them your chest hair, do whatever the hell you want. You know it. Guys sexy. can do what they want. It is sexy. Women, sadly, are judged differently when it comes to looks. This is a sad truth. Yet, I think people, and especially now listening to this episode, people will understand that you need to have more of a, you know, reasonable outlook when it comes to women and their and looks and style and how they want to dress and how much makeup they put on. And I know personally, I'm going to change the way I view how somebody dresses on the first date, second date, third date, just because, you know, maybe I'm a little bit more judgmental about it than others or maybe not. But it, it kind of opened my eyes a little bit about how people dress. So I appreciate that. And You're welcome. Uh, well, thank you so much for having us. Uh, yeah, thank you for having time. us. This was much more Very fun insightful, than expected. Very insightful, that's for sure. Mm-hmm. Um, Wait, but we, we want to hear your closing thought, also. I thought we would Yeah, if you have more. a closing <laughs> statement. <laughs> you want your closing um, statement. Okay, bottom line, I'm just going to say this. Be comfortable, be who you are, be genuine. Um, dress up for yourself. I know that's a stupid thing to say but you should dress nice because at the end of the day you're trying to put your best foot forward if you wear something that you're comfortable in and you feel like you look good that's the way you're going to be perceived confidence will come out if you like what you wear i think that's very important just be you basically and everything else is going to fall into place yeah guys could see that like if you're being genuine (laughs) and confident and like you're comfortable with who you are like you could wear a potato sack and like Mm -hmm. you could there's been people i mean that i hear i think marilyn monroe put on a potato sack sack once because someone said like oh like you know it's because you're wearing x y and z and she put it on just to show just to show that she could look good in anything Mm. so i think that if you wear it well you'll look good regardless. Nice yes. line. I love JFK. So yeah, it works. Mm. Um, yeah. You know what? Um, these ladies have some amazing, amazing points and look, we loved having you two on oh, Alex you. and Sophia. Loved being here. Yeah. This was fun. Thank you. I know you did. For um, my dog. <laughs> mm. So anyway, yeah, guys, we hope this helps Speaking a lot. Speaking of the dog, it's dressed. Can I just tell everyone that dog is dressed oh, very well? Oh, I didn't even realize it do- her, the yeah, dog, is dressed dog is dressed on point. Oh, it's cute. Where did you get that dress? We have lots of cute outfits, actually. Four dogs. Yeah. Wow. Four dogs. Wow. Yeah. I'm going to buy one for Avery. <laughs> <laughs> okay, no, that was mean. Everyone, we hope you had a good time. Email, comment, reply, forward, whatever you need to do to help our fellow siblings in this single siblinghood. It's IJ Avery out. And as my new closing goes, smiley face, happy face, Silly face. This is the Nobody Talks to Different Podcast. Hey, listeners, it's Misty from the Nobody Talks to Different Podcast. And I understand that between work, school, and your shit-up responsibilities, it can be really difficult to find time to read. Well, now, thanks to Audible, you can listen to your favorite books and authors anywhere at any time. I love that I've been able to catch up on the latest audiobooks with Audible, including some audiobooks by my favorite authors, John Grisham, Colleen Hoover, and Rachel Hollis. Whether I'm in my car, at the gym, shopping for groceries, or even during bad dates, I love how convenient Audible is. Here's how you sign up for the Audible. Just click on the link in our show notes and you get a free 30-day trial along with three free audiobooks. Remember, the average person reads 12 books a year, so don't be average. The LMNO Broadcast Network.